All right, I was on DistroWatch today, and I saw this distribution. This is called Web Converger. This was a 553 meg download, and this is supposedly a browser-only kiosk type operating system. Okay, now you only have two choices with this. You can select which language you want, Dutch, French, German, Italian, Polish, Norwegian, uh, Spanish, Swedish, or back to main menu. So you only have a few language choices, and then you run it in live mode. Once it loads up, you are presented with this 30-day money-back guarantee. Well, they just put their foot in the door right away with this one. Personally, I think this would have been better if they gave you the options to customize this and then put a donate button that would disappear after donating rather than uh, doing it this way. But essentially, it has a unique identity uh, for your machine. And basically, what you would do is you would assign a home page to it. You can choose uh, whether you want to have default Chrome or to have this without an address bar. Great if you are running a storefront where you're showing all of your product line and you don't want people navigating outside your store. And then, of course, when people walk away from the computer, after a set interval, you can have it reset to the entrance page. Okay, and then you can also dis disable the screen from timing out and saving power after 10 minutes, but you'd have to pay a $10 subscription for that. Now, while it does say Chrome on the screen, when you do press the home button, in actuality, you are getting the Ice Weasel web browser. This is a long-term release, and this is an unbranded version of Firefox. All right, something else I'd like to note is there is no sound on this. I went on a website earlier using this on a Creative Commons website and tried to download music, and... Uh, there was no audio playback whatsoever. And since there's no way for this to install, I'm also assuming there are no specific graphics drivers. It's using a generic uh, graphics assortment, and that would account for the file size and that sort of thing on this. Uh, if we go to YouTube.com, and uh, we pull up some video here, I'm going to show you how playback is. Flash does come loaded on this. And, of course, uh, there I am. You will see that the video is kind of choppy on this. Let me go ahead and pull up any one of these. It doesn't really matter. All right. Okay, and the video will start loading up and start playing, but you will see it is kind of choppy and everything. But Flash seems to appear okay. Um, let me go ahead and skip the ad here. A yeah, really not very desirable video playback results, but I don't think that's what they had in mind with this. Now, the only thing I don't like about this distribution is, okay, so yes, you do have a store. Uh, you know, you do have your product line in your store, and maybe you have videos of these products being in use. Let's say you're selling cleaning supplies and that sort of thing, and you want to be able to show videos of these products in use with sound. Well, this distribution really wouldn't cut it. Uh, for that because obviously you know there is no sound coming through here and there is uh, no options for configuring it anywhere. I uh, checked and checked and checked and I couldn't see any ways that I could go in and configure the system. I really wish that you know while this is a wonderful idea I really wish that more options were added to this distribution. Uh, but this is something that is good if you're looking for a nice little kiosk in your store that has no sound whatsoever. But any additional features? Mm, I don't think so. Nice try, though. All right, if you thought this was useful, comment and subscribe. Google Plus, Facebook, and Twitter will keep you up to date every time I send a new video to my channel. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you next time. Mm -hmm.